for an undefeated lightweight world champion, Katie Taylor, is going to be fighting here in Philadelphia on March 15th. How's everything going? Everything's going great, thanks. Yeah, it's great to be here in Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Fight City, I'm sure you've heard and read all about it. What's it mean you to be fighting in Philadelphia? Well, it's, it's amazing, actually. As you said, it is a great fight city, and to have a chance to fight here on Patrick's Day weekend as well is going to be incredible. And, that was my yeah. next question. Yeah, fight on yeah. St. Patrick's yeah, Day weekend. Yeah. Uh, what's that mean to you? Well, it, it means an awful lot, actually. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of Irish support there um, in the stadium on the night. And I'm very, very excited. It's, it's a chance for me to unify the division again against Rose Volante. She's, she's a WBO champion, and it's going to be a huge fight. What are your thoughts on her, Rose Volante? Yeah, she's a great fighter. She's unbeaten as well in 14 fights. And uh, she's, she's obviously very, very strong. She's a great champion. So it's going to, it's going to be a brilliant fight. You had your first handful of fights in Great Britain and United Kingdom now. The last few fights have been over here. What, what, what are the similarities? What are the differences? Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's pretty similar, to be quite honest. I, I mean, I'm, I'm boxing and I have the, the privilege of boxing in these big stadiums and uh, huge undercards, which is absolutely incredible. But it is brilliant for me to be fighting over here. To, I want to um, get a big U.S. fan base. and. Um, so it has been brilliant. Obviously, the Olympics, you are a known commodity over there. Do you feel you have to, you know, maybe step up a notch to, to maybe impress the, the fans who are just now getting familiar with you? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, uh, boxing is uh, the, the entertainment business, and people are, are, are tuning into the fights to, to be entertained. So it is important to, to entertain during the fights. And I, I want to put on a showcase every day, every single time I step into the ring. Like you said, you have a tough fighter in front of you, but obviously, a fight's been kicked around, hanging over your head, Amanda Solano. How difficult is it, you know, knowing that that big fight is down the road? You know, but you, you have maybe one or two other fights in between that. Uh, it's not too difficult. I mean, I, I have to just uh, remain focused on the job at hand. Really, I just take it one fight at a time. But obviously, the man is, the man is around a fight is a huge fight. So, uh, but I've said it before, it's the biggest fight in women's boxing right now. So I have to keep winning there for that fight to happen. And she has to keep winning as well. So. I thought hopefully that fight will happen by the end of this year. Is that the fight that makes you a superstar with a big performance against Amanda Serrano? Um, I don't know if it, if it will make me a superstar any more than uh, than uh, becoming, say, the Undisputed Champion, but the ultimate goal for me is to become the Undisputed Champion and, and then to be involved in those big fights as well. Anything you want to say in closing to the fans out there? Just thanks so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. And, um, Tune in on March 15th. Uh, it's going to be a great, great night. The other question: Have you visited the Rocky statue yet? Uh, I, I was here yeah, a few years ago, and I okay. visited the, the Rocky statue back okay. then. So, so. No, no big deal. I was going to ask you <laughs> no, to yeah. and you probably don't eat cheesesteaks, so do you? No, no, I haven't actually. Yeah. No, not yet. Yeah, not yet. All right, well, we wish you best of luck. Yeah. We'll see you March 15th. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.